So what is SWOT analysis? It's really the most traditional approach to taking a look at your organization. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a historical technique. What is a strength? What is a weakness? What is an opportunity? What's a threat? A strength, internal. Weakness, internal. Opportunity, major favorable situation, external. And threat, major unfavorable situation, externally. So remember, when you're thinking SWOT, SW, strengths, weaknesses, internal, opportunities and threats, external. The SWOT analysis allows you, once you take a look at the attributes, skills, pieces of your organization, to choose whether you want an aggressive strategy, a turnaround strategy, a defensive strategy, or a let's just get rid of it strategy. But there's some limitations of SWOT. It's a moment in time. It does not talk about dynamism. And one of the things that I've seen over the years of doing strategic planning is we pay attention to our strengths and not necessarily consider exactly what's happening in the external environment. Or what I would call hand or head in the sand strategic planning. We can um, overemphasize one part and not pay attention to another. In some organizations, we tend to get quite defensive. We'll be looking at all of those weaknesses, not even paying attention to the strengths, thinking that their strengths, we can just keep them on the back burner, instead of realizing that those strengths actually contributed so much to the organization, and that you need to have a strategy to make sure that those strengths don't weaken. And another thing to consider, strengths not necessarily a source of competitive advantage. A strength might not be something unique. 